This is Sophia Royal with Content Sparks, and I've broken into the back end of Sharon and Debbie's new course, Bite Size Video Boosters, to give you an idea of how your course might look on Teachable. Right now, we're going to start by looking at creating your course sales page. We'll start at the information page, which includes all the details about your course, basic things like course name and descriptions and a few other specifics. This page is really the control centre of your online course and where you'll make most of your important changes. You'll see at the top you can click on the preview buttons to see the course as either a visitor or an enrolled student. Visitors will be directed to your sales page and I'll show you where you can make edits to this page in a moment, where you'll present them with your sales copy and whatever content it is you'll use to entice them to sign up before giving them your CTA so that they take the next step. You'll see Sharon and Debbie have added a countdown timer. They've actually used another platform to add this to their sales page called Deadline Funnel, but we'll have to save that tutorial for another day. They've got a great mix then of video and written content, an idea of what the course includes and some information about their offer. They've also included some FAQs at the end, uh, which are always really helpful for those inquisitive customers. You'll see those down here. Creating a killer sales page really takes time, but thankfully the Teachable platform makes it relatively easy and I will show you how. If we go back to our admin area and navigate over to the left hand menu, you'll see sales page listed under the pages section. Teachable utilises a drag and drop element method to create these pages and if you've ever used anything similar before, perhaps lead pages, optimised press, something like that, you'll know just how easy that is. Each element of the sales page has its own section. At the top, you'll see their course header where they've added their background image and title. Just beneath that, you'll see their introductory video before some more text and then some more videos again. If you want to move things around, it's really simple. You just need to drag them and drop them where they need to go. So for example, the FAQs, let's move this one around. Click it, drag it, shift it up and then drop it wherever you want that one to go. But I had better put this one back where it was before, before I mess things up. Adding more elements is really easy. You just hover between the two different elements that are currently there and then click on insert new block before you get this pop-up menu. If you hover over each of these icons, you'll see what they are. We've got rich text, liquid HTML, background image, video, and then this um, bottom one, open up another longer menu, things like FAQs and testimonials. If you click on any of these elements then, if we click on the text one, you'll see it appear on your page. Again, just add your content there. You can use the editor to make any changes to your text, for example. And then when you're ready to go, hit save, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to mess up their page right now. And then once you're done, click on preview to have a look at your masterpiece. Yeah.